Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to understand what does a data analyst do in real time and what are his roles and responsibilities. So this is from a beginner's perspective who are new to this data analyst role and you know they are trying to apply it to an internship or they are expecting you know what kind of job I will be doing once I get into the role. Uh, what is the expectation? What is the skill set? So all that we'll be trying to learn in this video. So stay tuned and let us get started without wasting much time. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So now, first of all, let us try to understand what is a data analyst or data analysis. What is data analysis? Data analysis is nothing but simply if I you know categorize them into four parts. First one is gathering data. So you have to, you know, every process will begin by collecting the data from various different uh, various sources okay so which can include like say your excel files companies databases or online flat platforms or survey results no or, or anything that is on um, your text tables or you know text files or excel and so first you have to gather information from that second is you have to spend some time in analyzing this data that is cleaning and organizing, okay? So because you know, whatever the data that we might get from web portals uh, or online portals, or you know the one that we are getting from surveys might need a lot of cleaning and organizing. So you will be spending you know, a, a very good amount of time in cleaning and organizing that data so that you can analyze the data patterns in that. Okay, so that is more very important. I would say next is analyze that data. You know, uh, once you feel that you know you have fixed uh, data issues, you have removed redundant data, you have you know cleaned duplicates, uh, you know you have filled the missing values, and you know removing inconsistencies, and you know enabling uh, ensuring you have data accuracy. Once you do that, we can analyze the data. That is the third point of it. And fourth is, you know, interpretation and reporting. So these are the four important parts of a data journey. Gathering data, you know, cleaning and organizing according to the requirement. Third step is analyzing the data that you have gathered. Fourth one is representing or reporting that data so that, you know, organization can make an informed decision. Okay, so now what are the qualifications that are expected? Okay, so mostly, you know, it is it is expected that you are from a computer science background or, you know, you are aware of, you know, statistics, mathematics and data science. All these subjects are very important. Next is what are the very important skill you know, that is required? First is, you know, proficiency in Excel. This is very, very important because you will be spending a very huge amount of time you know on excel to clean your data and you know uh, because you are a data analyst or a beginner role you know you will be given uh, uh, different different data sets to analyze so you know excel yourself in excel okay always remember that next is you know your proficiency in your sql knowledge it is very very important okay so python and r are like say additional uh, to your skills you can always add and communication skills and problems called problem solving skills these are like a, that should go with every you know job that you are going for but for us from data analyst purpose uh, perspective we need a person or a candidate who is expert in excel you know expert in sql and familiarities with your python and r language this is something that is needed what would what are some additional uh, you know assets that you can give according uh, apart from this essential skills you know experience in data visualization tools like say tableau or power bi we say that you know we need uh, these tools so that you know we can leverage uh, you know uh, the data that you, we have identified to represent or visualize that so your reporting tools will come into picture here you know your online platforms or aws uh, or machine learning platforms will always add add on to this data analysis perspective okay so you can spend some time or learn or you know add this extra skills to your profile so that you can you know get shortlisted for every role that you're trying to apply remember excel sql data visualization and some 
statistical tools. So these are this is what we would need from data analytics perspective. Next one is what would be my roles once in inside get into an organization you know as a data analyst and what i will be doing first is collecting the data okay collecting data means you know you might be using different databases you might be using online sources you might be uh, you know using survey results uh, and once you collect that you know you have to clean the data like we have you know seen earlier okay we have to clean that we have to fix errors we have to fix you know uh, or fill in missing information we have to remove duplicates and you know uh, bring some credit to what we have you know uh, got from the internet okay so that would be you know one of the very critical role of a data analyst you now third would be analyzing that data again using tools like say excel python and you know, identifying the pattern and all fourth one is creating reports we have to summarize what we have identified in those you know excel sheets or the data that was given by using reporting tools like say tableau power bi and you know send it to the client next is assisting with the projects you know we have to work with the different you know senior data analysis on a larger projects contributing to you know data collection strategies testing new analysis tool and tackling business problems so all this we would need in a project so we will also need to you know excel or learn new tools on the go based on the you know requirement that we are getting like say you know we have to excel in excel functions you know use prog programming languages or you know data analysis tool based on the requirement okay so this is something that is expected from the data analysis here so collecting data cleaning data analyzing that data creating reports from that data and assisting the projects you know flow day in and day out learning new tools as a part of a role collaborating with the different teams it's not like you know you will always be working on a single project or you know you you don't have dependency on any so we might have a dif uh, dependencies on multiple teams you know to get the data to clean the data or you know to work uh, on the permissions and all so you have to collaborate with multiple teams so that knowledge is also very very helpful okay so next is you know presenting the findings so after all of this hard work what we have found in the data that is the final takeaway from this okay so next is you know again key responsibilities is identifying the data sources data extract methods ensuring data is quality whatever the you have next is data documentation this is something that is needed okay apart from so this is in data collection so what what are the important things that we do in data collection so identifying the data source so we need to identify what is the data source we are using you know what you need to get you know what are the available data sets first you have to identify that then how are you going to extract the data so you are using any you know sequels to get that or you are using any apis or you are using online platform or websites to get the data and all how are you extracting that data okay so this is key responsibilities from data collection perspective okay next is again ensuring the data quality verify the accuracy and completeness of data collected this includes checking for missing values inconsistencies and potential bias okay so this is very important okay so like say next is the data documentation maintain detailed documentation about data sources extraction methods and cleaning or transformation steps this helps ensure transparency and allows others to understand data so these are the four important parts or points from data collection perspective next if i go for next slide this is from data cleaning perspective so what do we do in data cleaning first is error correction like say identify where is the error identify and fix error in data such as your you know typing errors inconsistencies or incorrect formatting like that so all of that you have to correct second is handling missing values like say address is missing in the value or you know input uh, filling is missing so deleting or using a placeholder so all of that you have to do for handling 
your missing values. Next is re removing your duplicates. So we first have to identify, you know, if there are any duplicates in our data, okay, and then remove those duplicate entries in the data to prevent, you know, scaling the analysis and ensure data security. So what happens if we don't delete the you know duplicates? So the numbers that you are repeating might, might be a lot higher compared to what is the actual result. So you have to ensure that you are doing. Next is the data standardization. So ensure the data is in a consistent format because in cleaning step, we clean all the data so that it is ready to present or it is ready to find the findings in that. Okay, so that is your data standardization. Okay, so next uh, is our data analysis. Key responsibilities is in data analysis. So we have learned about data collection. We have learned about data cleaning and then data analysis. So first is your Excel. Use Excel for your basic data analysis tasks like creating charts, calculating, summarizing, and formulas and all. So all basic cleaning activity, we can use Excel and then, you know, learn your Python to, you know, uh, for more advanced data analysis, which can include data manipulation with libraries, pandas, statistical analysis with SkyPy and machine learning with Skit-Learn and all. So all of this we can do, you know, uh, or use as a data analyst in real time. Next is R again and SQL. So these are the four important skill sets that are assigned or expected in data analysis role. So next is again to summarize key responsibilities that is reporting and communication. So we have to summarize in a, a concise overview of key findings and insights from the data analysis. So after doing all the analysis on the data set that you have done, we have to you know, provide a summary report or you can also provide a detailed report. So some clients might be interested in summary report, some might be in detailed report. So you have to be flexible that you are giving both the options. So if they want summary report, they'll see the summary. If they want detailed report, they'll see the detailed reports. They want interactive dashboards. That is again, part of reporting. We can always do that, okay? So if they want in PPT, again, you have to present that data. So this is something that we will be doing day in and day out as a part of data analysis intern. Okay, so I hope you have learned something from this video and this video was helpful for you. If it does, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and have a good day.